The Space Data Highway is no longer science fiction. The Space Data Highway services are based on the capability to transfer information from Earth observation satellites to an EDRS relay geostationary satellite through a high-precision laser link. The 1.8 gigabits per second high data rate enables high volume data transfer to the ground in near real time. Without Space Data Highway, the user must wait for the observation satellite to fly over its ground station, which typically involves a 90 minute delay and 10 minute visibility window. With Space Data Highway, the user can benefit from direct data download with a 45 minute visibility window. This makes it possible to get near real-time communication, which can be a critical asset for many European agencies and NGOs. A particular role has been identified for such quasi-real-time data in the case of pollution of oceans. And another application that is of great interest to us and for which we have high expectations is the case of emergency management. And here, when there are natural disasters or even outside Europe, humanitarian crises, rapid action is required, every minute counts, and rapid access to the data is important. After a disaster hits a certain area, like Haiti last weekend, we need immediately information. This is necessary as food and water for those who are confronted with the disaster on the spot. The local population in need needs proper reaction from the Red Cross Society on the spot. Therefore, we need satellite imagery in real time. And this is really necessary for our future in disaster relief worldwide. EMSA has more than 10 years of experience in providing near real-time Earth observation information in support to a wide range of operational activities. From initial activities with Clean CNET for oil spill monitoring, to recently with Copernicus for maritime safety, fisheries control and law enforcement, the agency delivers information that allows its users to act fast. For example, to catching a polluting vessel red-handed, or to allow the interception of a ship involved in direct trafficking. EDRS will enable the agency to expand these capabilities outside of Europe, where currently satellite monitoring is done with some delays. In the future, with the launch of additional DRS satellites, these capabilities can even be expanded globally, to the benefit of all European member states. SATSEN is the EU's interested entity for fast and reliable analysis of satellite data to face current security challenges. The construction of a space data highway offers new possibilities for the center. The fact that the EDRS technology could enable us to receive satellite imagery within 10 to 20 minutes would allow us to improve our operational efficiency significantly by starting to analyze the imagery very shortly after its acquisition. SATSEN sees two potential scenarios for testing the EDRS, one for wide area monitoring and another one for the production of first impression reports. The benefit of the use of the EDRS is the encryption, ensuring confidentiality and the fast data availability, which would make a quasi real time service possible, enabling a quick intervention in the field if needed. We really hope that in the future, the EDRS technology will allow our services to be even more timely and relevant to our users for SATSEN to contribute in the best possible way to situational awareness and decision making at EU, national and international level. The Space Data Highway services can be utilized for low Earth orbit satellites and airborne platforms, further enhancing Earth observation and high bandwidth secured communications applications. EDRS-A was launched in January 2016. EDRS-C will be launched in 2019. Global coverage starting in 2023. Space Data Highway, improving mission flexibility, reactivity and productivity.